One of the most common approaches to classification is called multi-label classification in machine learning. What is it? How can we use it? In this series of videos, we're going to cover these questions and much more. Stay with me. Hello everyone and welcome to ML Don. Multi-label classification is a big deal and it's been around for a long time. Now, in this series of videos, I'm targeting to tell you about what it is and how it differs from multi-class classification. And if you were to actually use an artificial neural network to implement, implement a multi-label classification uh, problem and basically its solution, um, I'd like to talk to you about what sort of design issues you might have. For example, what kind of uh, output function you're going to use for your artificial neural network? What kind of loss function will you be using? And funny enough, how are you going to present your ground truth vector in a multi-label classification problem? Trust me, all of those things would be different to the classical way of doing multi-class classification. So let's just go over the content uh, for this video series. So first, you know, we're going to talk about multi-label classification, what it is, and then we'll talk about uh, multi-label classification versus versus um, the classical multi-class classification, right? So this one and this one. And then we'll talk about artificial neural network and multi-label classification. How should it define the output function, the ground truth vector, and the loss function? And finally, we'll provide you with a numeric example as to how in practice could you actually do a forward pass and a backward pass in an artificial neural network to solve a multi-label classification problem. So without further ado, let's talk about multi-label classification. Now, uh, imagine that you've got this document, right? It's a textual document. And what you want to do, you want to classify the topic of this document. Let's say you have three different uh, classes in your data set. One is, you could say it's political, political. The other class is sports. And the other topic class could be um, economics. Now, as I'm sure you'll agree with me, a particular document could belong to multiple topics at the same time, meaning that this document could actually belong to class political and at the same time class economics. So this is one class label, this is one class label, this is one class label, and, and as you can see, your one input data can belong to more than one class label. It can belong to one as well, but at, I mean, it can belong to more than one uh, as well at the same time. So that is why we call these problems multi-label classification problem. The other example that you could think about in this, uh, in this particular scenario is, let's say you have an image and you wanna define what sort of objects are uh, within this image, right? Let's say you've got a tree here. Let's say these are clouds. Um, let's say you've got, let me, maybe, maybe you've got the sunshine here, right? It's an ugly looking sun, I know, but I'm not a good painter anyway. Now you wanna figure out what sort of objects are in this image. So let's say the objects in your data set class, basically your class labels are, uh, you could have sun, you could have grass, you could have a cow, you could have sky, and so on and so forth. So if you notice, we have the sun in this image, we have the grass, we, have, we don't have any cows, we have the sky. So again, multi-label classification problem. Okay, so this is different to the classic multi-class classification problem. So if you think about it, let's say uh, you've got an image Let's say you have a data set full of images of cats and dogs, right? So let's say you've got this cat, okay? Now, in the two classes that you have, the two class labels that you have in your uh, data set, cat and dog, this image can either belong to the class cat or a dog. It cannot be both cat and dog because that's just not the problem you're trying to solve. So here, your image belongs to only one class label, right? So this guy and this guy, these two scenarios are examples of multi-label classification problem where an input data can belong to more than one class label at a time. Whereas 
This scenario is an example of multi-class classification problem where an input data can belong to only one class at a time and that's it. So if this has been helpful for you, please do make sure that you'll smash that like button. In the next video, we're going to be talking about what sort of design issues you'll be facing if you wanted to use an artificial neural network to solve a multi-label classification problem. I'll see you on the next one.